What's up travelers? In this video we're heading to the Hard Rock Bangkok and we're gonna check out some awesome rock memorabilia. So let's check it out. Changes every which way you go. We'll talk about unfortunate luck. I get here and I find out that the restaurant is under renovation and it's not going to open until October. Bummer. So I guess we're going to have to go check something else out. Probably head over to Lupini Park.
Well, that was super cool. Let's go find some lunch. So yeah, I just ordered the chicken cow soy. It's 185 baht. And then I also got a Thai iced tea for another 85 baht. So this kind of this place is kind of spendy, but you know, hopefully the food's good. I didn't even know this when I sat down, but uh, this place, the Ginger Farm Kitchen, it's uh, four years running on the Michelin star rating list. So. That's pretty exciting. Uh, I'm happy to have just randomly ran into a Michelin place. Makes me kind of excited. The food should be amazing. Well, there's definitely something to be said for the presentation of this thing. <laughs> Khao soy is a northern Thai style dish. Um, it's in a a thin coconut curry like broth it's got a mixture of both deep fried and boiled egg noodles and then it's got some, some veggies and stuff like that in it and then it also comes with chicken there are other kinds that come with beef or pork or fish or whatnot but this is the the more traditional type but it comes with the chicken and it also has these uh, lotus chips here they also serve it with some shallots and a wedge of lime and something that looks dangerous <laughs> and something that looks even more dangerous before we start adding anything to it let's uh, go ahead and get down in here and get some of this broth and try it out Oh man, that is good. For me, it's the perfect amount of heat and the creaminess just works with that so well and the, the taste of that coconut milk just shines through so brightly. And uh, oh yeah. Those spices are just delightful. That is, that is truly, truly impressive. I like it a lot. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, throw some of these shallots in there. And I'm also going to squeeze that lime. It does not need any more pepper. It is spicy enough as it is, especially after going over to Mr. Weens's restaurant the other day. Um, not really in the mood <laughs> for the super, super spicy. However, I am gonna try some of this just by itself, see what it is. Kinda looks like kimchi. Yeah, it, it kind of is kimchi, but I think it's a, it's more of a Thai-style kimchi, more pickled veg. It's actually really good. Um, I think I'll eat that on its own, but uh, I will leave the curry to itself. But let's go ahead and squeeze this lime into here. Oh yeah, get that nice and juicy going. And let's grab some of these noodles. Mm. That is absolutely phenomenal. I agree. This is right up there in the top 10 soups in the world. 100%. That is so, so delicious. 
try some of the some of the boiled noodles here. Mm. Oh man, that is just delightful. And that uh, that lotus chip it kind of brings a bit of a floral uh, flavor to the party. Mm. I am so happy that I stopped at this place. This this is great, and you know it's a it's a little bit pricey, you know. But oh, I mean, I didn't even realize that it was a Michelin star place. It's in a mall. It's right down by one of the most popular parts of Bangkok in general. So, I mean, you kind of expect to pay a bit more here. Mm. This meal just keeps getting better and better. That chicken is to die for. Oh, my Lord. Mm. And then we got our Thai iced tea here. And that marks the first time I've ever had Thai iced tea in Thailand. And it's about what I would expect. <laughs> Tastes just like the Thai iced tea back at home. <laughs> Yeah, it just does that just look amazing or what? Mm. Try cow soy. You just you need to try cow soy. <laughs> it is so delightful. Problem is, is they gave you they gave me a chicken leg. And it's all covered in sauce, and I don't want to get my hands on it. <laughs> so it's a little bit hard to eat. You got to break the meat off of the bone with the spoon. <laughs> but yeah, totally worth it. I'm so, so glad I stopped in here. So definitely, when you come to Thailand, one of the things that you need to try is the cow soy. You're not going to be disappointed if you get in on it. And I bet you that you go pretty much anywhere that serves it, you're going to be happy you went there. So, so amazing. Well, anyway, if you have enjoyed this video with the with the fun animals and, and having it not go as planned <laughs> from the get-go. Uh, go ahead and give me a like, subscribe, hit that notification bell if you're into it. And as always, eat great food. <laughs>